Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. boiling we are a go <laughs> best turn it off welcome back to the channel guys we're living the dream we're up in the highlands of scotland in the van we've got a cafetiere coffee on the go for anyone that's wondering because a few people have commented i've lost my aeropress a few people were mad for the aeropress um so i'm on the cafetiere still a big fan and i've got an all-day breakfast boiling the bag within this kettle now so if that's not living the dream i actually do not know what is this is my dream Yes. Um, so today I'll chat a little bit more about today's photography adventure when we get on route. Um, but the basics of it are I'm wild camping and I'm hiking out to a remote loch or loch an here right up in the northwest of the Scottish Highlands. You beauty. <laughs> This, this is the Glengarry, this is from my dad. That is our clan, by the way, the Lamont clan, for anyone that's interested. Cheers, dad. So, I'm, I've got the camera out already. I wasn't, even, I wasn't meant to. I'm only about 10 minutes into this walk, but it really was one of those scenes that presented itself to me. And as a photographer, I couldn't say no. I've had to stop. So we've got this beautiful sort of mountain range, this stretch here of Ben Egg Nature Reserve absolutely wonderful i think i was reading last night it's the first that was the first nature reserve in the whole of the uk um, and beautiful to photograph let me tell you and then we've just got these beautiful moody skies above the mountain range as well we've even had a few patches of light every now and again that's right some light here in the highlands um, and i had to shoot it as a panel but what is making this photograph this is what made me want to stop and get all my gear out and faff about and shoot through this fence like you can see I'm doing here is we've just got this incredible row of trees that just seem to like line the bottom of this photograph uh, it's like someone's placed them there <laughs> for, for me to come along and take a panorama so it's about six or seven shots from left to right pretty much just capturing the whole sort of width of that mountain range there if you will trees in the foreground zoomed in at 90 millimeters so we can really capture the the grandeur of those mountains absolutely wonderful and as i always say about a panel broken record with this one but i do always say this and i mean it you can never really tell until you get home whether or not it's going to be any good but i do i've got a really good feeling about this one
so we are Loch Side. Oh goodness, we're on the shores of the beautiful Loch Marie. The rain is coming down. Oh, heaven, absolute heaven. So I'm just cooking up a little bit of, I was going to say lunch, but it's like, it's past five o'clock now. So I suppose it's got to be tea. We've got a bit of chicken teriyaki, which has been, um, which has been cooked, if you can call it that with the, the waters of Loch Marie through the filter, of course. So the jet boil has been on the go. Um, yeah, today's adventure, I'm on route. I'm about halfway now up to um, a, a Loch Ann called Loch Ann Fada. I actually put on my Instagram a few days ago, just asking for some Highland recommendations, you know, from you guys, some location recommendations. I had a lot of wonderful replies, so thank you so much for that. And yeah, this one stood out. Uh, the, the person just put Loch Ann Fada. I thought, well, I'll have a quick Google. Now, I did notice there's two or three Loch Ann Fadas, but I'm assuming this is the one that they meant, and it is right down my street. Behind me, beyond these trees, you can see a few of the mountains there. There's no roads. It's just glens and mountains, and there's barely any hiking tracks. You know, it's proper wilderness. Um, so, yeah, right down my street, and it is made for a wild camp. Absolutely wonderful. Um, so we'll get up there, we've got loads of time, we'll see what happens at sunset and of course we'll wake up in a, a beautiful island location as well for sunrise. But I'm going to have the old chicken teriyaki noodles. Oh, and I'll show you this photograph as well. It was like a three minute exposure. Um, you know the crack, not the best shot in the world, but has to be done when you've got a broken old jetty just like that. And then we'll make a move. Guys, this has been a struggle. I say a struggle. It's been, it, it, it's been, a, it's a positive, a positive struggle. Um, you know yourselves, my fellow landscape photographers, when you're out and about in a beautiful location like we are today, but then the light is is amazing as well. It's like that shot that I've just taken, that handheld photograph. The light has been like that for the past. It's been about an hour and a half since then, to be honest with you. And this location is ten out of ten. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, I didn't even want to stop here because this is dragging on a bit. We've still got probably another hour until we get to the Loch Ann. Um, but I do think, uh, look, right, peak there, peak there, Loch Marie in the middle, nice little slither of him. And then just a, a nice collection of trees and, and stuff and uh, cliffs and crags down in the foreground. And again, I've done an, an, another little panorama, about four or five shots from left to right. I just like the balance we're getting from those two peaks and I do, the, the main reason why I wanted to stop, right, and show you this one is because we have had some fleeting light and the bottom line is, is I think this is going to be a really good shot. It feels right. Everything about it feels right. Uh, it's right down my street with the moody clouds. We've had a bit of light as well, I think, which is a bonus. I just had to show you this one and then we must get up for the millionth time now to this Loch Ann. <laughs>
Oh, so I've been struggling a little bit to find somewhere to pitch my tent. Now I'm up at the Lachan, but this, look at that little section there. That is looking good. And then we are poised in a wonderful spot if anything happens with this light, or oh, for the morning, you know? So let's get down there. Oh, well then, I would say uh, this is not too far from perfection. Oh, what a spot to pitch up the old tent. Um, we're on the shores of, well, what's really like a Lochan beach. There's no other way to describe it. It is oh, absolutely wonderful. So the rain's been coming down for probably about an hour and a half now. Hence the Barno and lack of Glengarry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get the tent pick, pitched up so at least I can get my sort of bag and things like that in there to just start drying off. And it's out the elements then. And we've still got a fair chunk of time till the sunset. Although it looks like it's closed in a little bit. But the way that the, the conditions have gone today, I shall write nothing off. Um, before I get the tent set up, I wanted to say another huge thanks to Squarespace as always for their support uh, for kindly sponsoring today's video. Uh, if you don't know who they are, Squarespace are an all-in-one platform that you can go on to build or create your very own website. It's a fantastic service and one that I have used um, for over three years now, actually. Um, it's very, very easy to build your own website. You needn't be um, sort of overwhelmed or intimidated by it. Um, it's drag and drop, it's like a drag and drop interface and it's very, very customizable as well. Something that I always say, you can really make that website your own. Um, it's also great for e-commerce as well. I sell all my prints and various other things like that on there. I'll perhaps end up putting a few prints from this trip on, fingers crossed, <laughs> if I get anything good enough. Um, but yeah, it's great if you'd like to sell prints and things like that. And as always, I like to give a mention to their customer service, which is something that I've used only a few times because like I said it is very easy um, but they've always always been really really um, helpful and always been there um, to lend a hand. So yeah another really uh, big thanks to them if you'd like to give them a go go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner and get yourself a free trial see if you like it before you pay anything and uh, if you do like it be sure to use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout for 10% off your first purchase. Right let's get this tent set up. So the rain has died down now, just as I've got the frigging tent set up. I had to be proper quick because uh, it's one of those where you've got to put the inside up first. So of course, all the inside of your tent's getting wet. It's not until you get the green bit up on the outside. Um, that, that's when you get your protection. So, um, But it's up now, and I tell you what, guys, I have definitely had worse wild camping spots. This, what more can you want? We've got the Lochan Beach. Um, it's really calmed down now, the lake's still, and you can probably see in the background as well, it has actually cleared up a little bit. Now with that being said, we're about five minutes past the sunset now and nothing really happened. It's pleasant, but I feel like we needed this about 20 minutes ago, but look, I can't complain the way that the day has gone. It's been absolutely unreal. Um, the conditions have been close to perfect, you know, throughout the, the afternoon and the evening. Couldn't have asked for more. Um, so I'm going to settle down now, make myself a little bit of tea or supper, I suppose, it's that late. And just enjoy this, just enjoy it, because this is beautiful. And um, yeah, I'd love you to join me um, in next week's video to see what happens for the sunrise. Um, I may go down a different way. I may go down the same way. I don't know yet, because it's gorgeous. But I'm sure there'll be some nice photography as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, it's free. It only takes you a second. It proper helps me out. I'd really appreciate that. And better yet, if you could hit the subscribe button again, that don't cost you anything and it proper helps me out. And if you hit the little bell, no uh, bell icon, you'll get a notification for next week's video as well. Anyway, I'm babbling and I'm hungry. Thanks for your support. I'll see you on the next adventure. Out.